This is Seth David, your Dean of Beans here with SchoolofBookkeeping.com, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about accounting and Microsoft Excel. Here's an example of two QuickBooks reports. They're actually both the same information. One is a, a sales by item detail. The other one is a sales by customer detail. And if you notice at the bottom, they both total to the exact same thing because they're the exact same report just laid out a little differently. QuickBooks, like lots of accounting software out there, has reporting. And like the other accounting software out there, the reporting only goes so far. And I'm not knocking the software. The software is great. But at a certain point, no matter which accounting software I'm using, I find that I, I, I find myself feeling the need to go to Excel with it. So this is what I want to talk about. And if you take our course in schoolofbookkeeping.com called Mastering Microsoft Excel for Accounting Pros, you'll see a lot of the kind of stuff uh, that I'm about to show you kind of in summary form here uh, in great detail in terms of how to do it. Uh, so go over to schoolofbookkeeping.com and register. We've got the accounting for uh, Excel for Accounting Pros, and we've also got a course on Google Sheets that shows you how to do a lot of the same stuff, almost all of the same stuff actually, uh, in Google Sheets, which of course adds on the collaborative power that Excel does not have, uh, even if you're using some of the Microsoft shared, like SharePoint kind of stuff. Uh, not as good, in my opinion. Anyway, so let's see what this looks like. I'm going to actually pause the recording, dump one of these reports into Excel, work some magic and show you what can be done. And then if you want to find out more, if you have a report that you want created based on the ability to get so close to what you need in your accounting software, whether it's zero QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop, then uh, bring it on uh, this coming Friday. And we'll see if we can't take the data from the accounting software and get it into Excel and then accomplish whatever it is that you're hoping to be able to accomplish with the data that you can get. Uh, let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Did I mention that there was a course at schoolofbookkeeping.com on that includes creating pivot table reports in Google Sheets? Here it is. And that there's also a course in schoolofbookkeeping.com that among other things covers pivot table reports in Microsoft Excel in our course called Microsoft Excel for Accounting Pros. So I strongly encourage you to take advantage of these resources if you are in fact a student at schoolofbookkeeping.com. So continuing along, after exporting the reports in QuickBooks, that I, or one of the reports, I just picked the sales by item detail because I kind of like it better, uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. As you can see, the goal is to get it to a very linear format. And down here, I just ran a total quickly to make sure that I didn't accidentally delete something and to prove to you that there's no tricks up my sleeve. There's the 4652646, back to QuickBooks, 4652646. Now let's work a little more magic here. Let's do it. Let's get rid of that total. And let's say that you wanted to see a sales by customer by product or service, right? The name here is really our customer. Name, so let's get better uh, headers. Right, it's really customer or job. Customer slash job. Okay. Let's create a quick pivot table report. Insert pivot table. Excel's pretty smart. It figures out where my range is. Let's go amount for values. Let's go customer job in the rows. Let's go product or service underneath that. Let's format my amount so it's a nice number format. And now, in really what in total will take you when you're not slowing down to explain it, about 10 minutes, you can export the data from QuickBooks and clean it up in Excel and then run a pivot table report that will show you sales by customer and then within that by product. And let's say we said, you know what, I want to see it the other way. I want to see, I want to see sales by product and within that by customer. Great. So let's just click and drag down here and we can flip the script, so to speak. So here's each product and all the jobs 
that we uh, used that product on and what the sales were. This is what we're going to be looking at in greater detail on Friday. And for that matter, you can drive the content of this Hangout because you can tell me what kind of report you'd like to produce, whether it's in Zero, QuickBooks Online, or QuickBooks Desktop. And I'll work with you live online to produce the report that you'd like to produce, if it can be produced. Stump me. Try me. Let's see if you can. And if you can stump me, then I'll send you some swag. And I'll decide at that time what that swag will be and what it looks like. But by all means, come on Friday and come with your most complex report, and we'll see if we can't create it. You starting with your accounting software data and then moving into Excel and cutting it up in the way that you need it, report it on, so that you can get the information you need out of yours or your client's accounting system. I look forward to seeing you in this Friday's Hangout.